Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Building This City. This is Soap the Great. So today, uh, well, you can see I am in the spider farm here, this new one that I uh, built a couple episodes ago. Uh, and the reason I'm over here is because I want to showcase some of the stuff I've been doing at my base off camera. But uh, I wanted to have a little chat real quick. Um, as you may have noticed, I've been focusing on stuff other than this uh, this this particular series. Uh, I've been doing more off-camera work and just bringing you in for it. And the reason is that I tend to have a lot more time available for playing than recording lately. So uh, so I try and get as much done as possible off camera and then just bring you back and show you. But uh, one of the things we left off with was this um, Ender Elevator. And um, I had not finished that. But uh, the other thing, I still haven't decorated fully. So you see, see all that? That's kind of ugly with the exposed stone. Don't worry, we are going to take care of that real soon. So the way I've done this is um, we've got trip wire or string up top and so I just hold shift and the ender pearl hits the string and that teleports me up and holding shift keeps me on the vine. So here we go. The This is the uh, little entrance area for the spider farm so you just drop down. But We'll take a look at that in a showcase video later or the server how to but I carried the tunnel design all the way out we're gonna go look at the main base now the reason I want to do this and one of the things I want to talk about is um, you know we've got a lot of builds on the server I've been doing community builds lately um, but I've left some kind of unfinished like the iron and gold farm I built that, I built the gold farm on top of the iron farm and, and just left it undecorated. And that, that's not a good, uh, good thing. Um, and then this base is, has been neglected, really. We've got animals in there. You can see I've moved them. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Or I'll show you why, actually. Um, but I've moved the animals. Um, but I've, I've kind of neglected this. So what I've been doing is focusing on a design for this area. I've been in creative, working on stuff, just putting it together, placing blocks, breaking blocks, and um, you know I'll be working on that over the next couple episodes. But uh, one of the things I want to show you also, see this guy? There's no name tag on him, right? There's no Zosimos. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see if we can find Zosimos. I've I just did a bunch of decorating. Well, there's Zosimos and there's oh another cat. That's right ladies and gentlemen I found another cat. So hey if you can think of a name for a cat um, you know something good. Just give me a couple of uh, couple of ideas and uh, also for one of the breeder dogs. If you got an idea for a name for that um, that would be great. Just share that in the comments below or catch me on Twitter. Um, but uh, anyway, you can see some of what I've done here. The animals used to be in this area, and I've moved them over there. In fact, I cleared out that whole space back there because we're going to be doing some work. We're going to be spreading these guys out, and in here is where all the farms are going to be. You can see my to-do list. Uh, I don't think I've gotten to any of those. No, I haven't. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We need we need food. You can see this right here. This is all the stake I have to my name right now. And I had to go to spawn, to spawn village to get it. And we're not breeding the cows at the moment. So um, I may be, f you know, back down to cooked chicken later from the auto chicken cooker that's there. But we need some auto cookers in here just to take care of our food situation and we'll get to that don't you worry but I moved the portal or rather I built a new set of portals and we're gonna put a, a little design up top I'm gonna blow out the roof some and and you'll see that it's probably the next episode that 
Um, we're going to see a lot more decoration in here. Uh, we've got to move the pumpkin and, and melon farm over into that little area. But uh, anyway, we're, we're just getting, um, you know, some finishing touches, really finishing touches on the base. And, uh, and yeah, so hopefully it, uh, it works out. Uh, the other thing is I did have the rail duplicator over here. Um, I wasn't using that as much. And Caleb happened to be using that in something we're going to go look at right now. Um, so I moved it over for him. I guess you just don't want to go through. We'll bring him with us. Okay, so let's get in here. Again, player sounds. We'll turn this down so the minecart isn't unbearable. Okay. Now, you know, I laid out this nether rail quite some time back just to make it easy to go back and forth. It's about 150 blocks or so to the main nether hub. Oh, you can see a little bit of difference there. Um... And it used to go to the nether hub. But Caleb has been going crazy on a new build. And we've gotten redirected here. What? What's going on? What's going on? Ooh, this looks interesting. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, pigmen. Oh, and it's stuck. It's stuck. I think he, the pigmen messed with it a little bit. So we figure that out, but... There we go. We have a nether hub rail system. This thing is really cool. So what you do, there's various stations. Some of them are open like that um, for, for various, um, various new places if we ever build another tunnel anywhere. But he's got them. He's got all these. Uh, set up so let's go take a look at one of his new um, new setups we're gonna go to this one so there we go light goes on and we'll go to the passenger section Actually, I probably should have no it's over this way and he's even got it to where it separates freight from passengers which is really cool uh, very well done very well done um, I don't quite understand all of the redstone behind it. But hey, you know, he's done a great job. Um, he's been working on this for quite some time. I think he's still got some work. Um, it's not quite finished, but uh, I think I had to go ahead to show it. But anyway, I just want to say kudos to him. And this is really cool for, for the server. Just this little nether rail station. And I'm currently going over to a, his previous build. He was searching for a village, so he and I poked around on the map and found one. And out. This is called Bubble Village. Um, end of, I guess that's end of the line village over there. Let's go through here. And hopefully I know how to get back. It is okay. So okay. So what we got here? He has taken over a village, and he put this amazing dome structure over the top of it, with glass and and glowstone. And I don't think he swiped the glowstone for me, and he didn't know about the witch farm. I think he went and collected this whole thing, oops, um, all of the glowstone in the nether. So, wow, just wow. And I just messed up this by jumping on it. He's got a beacon over here with the jump boost. So, I'll leave things that I found it are better. Okay, and then we'll return the hoe back into here, and there we go. Now, it is... Did he... He has told me how to get out of here. Uh, let's just 
show off that thing. The beacon right there. Did a little claw thing. Um, did he put that at bedrock level? I don't know. Oh, okay. He's got it going through the enchanting table. That's cool. Okay. So, let's go to the the other part of this build if I can find how to get out of here. Um, there we go. And that jump boost. Okay. So, he's made these villagers kind of safe. Uh, not too far. Ah, okay. And my render distance isn't showing it. Let's see if we can get up to eight. I know I've done it on that one before. I think it's out this way. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So, um, he says the best way to view this thing is at night. Hello, Spidey. Okay. Oh, horses. wonder if I've seen these before. Um, I don't care so much about horses as I want more donkeys. No donkeys. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, he built this little structure as an observation platform. Um, what time is it? We're getting close to night. So, here's what I'll do. I'll get up in the tower, cut away, bring you back when it's night time. Let's go on up here. Um, and don't mind the uh, the difficulty setting here. Uh, the server is on normal, but I've been playing my single player in hard mode just for uh, get some better drops off of the mobs. Can't even see it. Let's turn up the render distance. But I'm gonna cut and uh, bring you back when it's nighttime. Okay, so we can see this. Back in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I am not in that bubble tower. I cannot see it from there, even at 16 render distance. It could be the server's view render settings. So we're going to take a little bit of a, a risk here and just look at that. Oh, man, that is, that is really cool. At night, that's the best time to view this thing. Sure enough. Kudos. I really like that. All right, so we're going to go back to the nether hub. I'm not going to stick around out here for too long because combat and recording uh, does not suit me that well. It also does not suit the frame rate that well. The pathing on those guys does not, uh, not do so well. See, you can't, you can't quite see it. I've got 10 on the render distance even at 16 it doesn't it doesn't fully show up it goes to one spot the server is set at 10 I think that's the max it can go so I don't know what's going on there but anyway let's head back and uh, we'll go to spawn village and um, yeah there we go oh okay nice so I think we got to go here and then boom. All right. And this will be the return journey. Actually, we saw that already coming from my base. Hopefully there are no pigmen in the way to slow down the minecart this time. I think this is just cool. Um, I'll try and focus on the ceiling that he put in there. It looks really, really good. Nice contrast of colors. All right, going along. That, that village is fairly far away. He did a great job on that, though. Here we go. Look at that right there. I like the checkerboard. Just enough. Okay. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, so it then sends the cart over to 
this area. Or at least forces this to come up. I don't know, he's he's done something. It's it's really cool. So good job there, Caleb. Um let's go into spawn village. Now it is night time. So we'll take a quick nap and uh and avoid some of the potential nasties. Now I built the gold farm on top of the iron farm and I brought brought y'all along with me on that and um, soon after I did that and the tutorial for it we got some snapshots out for 1.8 that indicated iron ingots would be relegated to a rare drop from iron golems so it would require player interaction and the same thing with gold nuggets from zombie pigmen so that pretty much ruined the AFK farming for both of those drops. Um, There's a big community outcry, uh, a few Reddit posts about it, some Twitter discussions, and uh, it's where the community is a little bit out of out of odds with um, with Mo Yang, the direction Mo Yang wants to go. But um, Mo Yang relented at least on that part. They did take away some things like uh, stacking villages, so the iron trench and iron foundry are not um, not available or will not be available in 1.8 anymore. But the iron ingots as drops um, without player interaction and gold nuggets without player interaction um, will be in. So the reason I didn't decorate at that point was because I did get those snapshots and I was working on a design and creative for. Um, for filtering them out, uh, just gathering enough zombie pigmen so it wouldn't lag the server and then killing the rest if you didn't happen to come clear it. Same with the iron golems. Um, but then the updated snapshots came out and they said, okay, we're still going to keep it in. So um, I stopped on that design. I'm not going to bother with it. And uh, so I felt it was fine to come in and decorate a little bit, okay? So before, it was just wide open redstone. Um, so what I've done, it's continued the same theme as with the tree farm. Um, so you remember that one with the iron bars and the spruce wood with the, the uh, cobble fences. I really like that contrast. Um, we're going to see that a little bit more, not as prominently, and we're not going to see this as much. I just think this is a cool way to encase redstone, so you can still see through, but um, it it does kind of break up the 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 ugliness a little bit. You know, I hesitate saying ugliness. I like looking at redstone, but um, it helps to to hide it a little bit. Okay, take some fall damage. Let's go up here. And um, I don't have to jump on dirt blocks anymore. Just in range of a beacon. But here we go. I've got carpet down, and there's lighting under the carpet. We've got hidden lighting under here with the cauldron trick. And if I had fancy textures on, you'd be able to see that. I'm not going to show that, uh, show that now, because uh, that really drops frame rates if I'm recording. And why is that down? I don't want that down. I hope that's right. Let's go back here and take a look. I want to make sure that we're not storing zombie flesh. So what's that doing? That is... Okay. Got it. So that one is getting powered. So that one is locked. There should be no... Yeah. What in the world? Let's see. We just had some pigmen drop. They always drop flesh, I think. Yeah. Okay. That went into the... You heard the little click-click? That went into the trash chute. So let's chuck this in there. You hear that? Yeah. So we've got a little dropper. And that just shoots it right into that lava. 
which burns up all of the poppies and zombie flesh. So we've got plenty of poppies. We've got a chest full of zombie flesh. I think that's sufficient. A few drops. I've taken care of the ones since um, decorating last night. All right, so let's just go up here real quick. You have to open that up for maintenance mode. Uh, and, uh, and come on up here. It's not real pretty up here. It is purely functional. Um, and looks kind of it looks kind of cool, especially at night, because I don't have much lighting up here. This is all half slabbed, so we should get no s mob spawns. Um, but there we go. That's the new AFK spot. And if we need to do maintenance on the villagers, we check on them, see what's going on. We can just come on up here, and same thing right there. So, so yeah. Uh, let's pop on down. It's a little bit precarious because we've got the speed beacon and that kind of throws off movement okay we're good so we'll head on back down but I think uh, I think that's it if you enjoyed this if you like these builds um, let me know if you don't like them let me know I would love to hear from you if you've got some ideas for uh, some decorations around here around my base feel free to let me know um, I will give you a little hint. Um, I am actually building it on a multiplayer creative server. Um, I'm doing it on the uh, Zazuma Plot World domain, which is mc.xpd.im, and I'll put that in the description. If you want to take a look at what I am working on for my base, uh, there's a little, little sneak peek you can take. Um, you can just uh, find me on there. I think it's slash plot soap the great I think um, I'll I'll get back to you on that I won't record it but I'll put it in the description below the command to get to my base if you want to see some of what is going to be going in there and you may even catch me on there from time to time um, usually in the mornings Eastern Standard uh, no daylight savings time so about uh, 530 to 630 and then in the evening sometimes from uh, 930 to 1030 you might see me on there so if you want to just hang out on on there feel free to um, just pop on any of those times again Eastern Daylight Savings Time um, so you have to do the math to convert it to whichever time zone you're a part of if you want to be on um, I would love to interact with you and get your ideas for designs um, I do invite your comments questions suggestions if you like this format let me know if you don't like it let me know um, you know criticism is good as long as it is positive and uh, and uh, given given in a positive way it could be negative criticism but given in a positive way and that makes all the difference so um, I I do uh, enjoy it and I look forward to it and uh, Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It helps me out. If you really enjoyed and you are not already subscribed, think about subscribing. I do this on a fairly regular basis. Try to get one out a week. And occasionally tutorials and various other things. And uh, anyway, having fun with this game. And I hope you are too. And I hope this is of a help to you. But uh, I do thank you for watching. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.